How's everybody doing today? Alfred Flores, CEO, President, New Age Electric. I want to demonstrate a, a video and a growing concern for AccuBid users that when this comes to labor columns, people tend to just say, oh, this job is, uh, it, it's a column two job. Uh, I, I highly disagree with that. A column two job has to be column two for every single thing you do. Uh, I'm going to jump into this. I'm going to explain. Okay. First off, I'm going to choose a few different assemblies really quick. Let me disable enable live count. Uh, let's just do some some random things here Okay, uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you how not just doing a extension labor column and just picking a column two, a column three, uh, a Nika column one, column two, column three. So in our industry, our, our base labor, our column two and our column three those should be your competitive bidding labor rates. Nika columns, not competitive, used for change orders and, and, and whatnot. You know, you're, you're, you're allowed Nika column rates when you are bidding, uh, when you are doing your change orders. Uh, no discussion about it. Uh, you got to make some kind of money up on a job and... You, you know, you're a hundred percent allowed your Nika column rates. Um, we do competitive bidding rates is to get our foot in the door, get the job. Our change order rates are always going to be different. Everybody needs to understand that we are here. We're all here to make money and we're not trying to rip anybody off, but it's Nika column change order only base bid column two, column three is competitive bidding only. All right, now that I said that, let's go into takeoff. So you're bidding a job and people are discussing with you that, you know, oh, this is, it's going to take forever to do everything. It's, it's going to, you know, what, what do you, what are, what are you trying to explain that it's going to take forever? And they come back and say, you know, we'll, we'll look at the ceilings. I mean, it's going to take forever to, to run a thousand feet of pipe down this hallway because you have this huge duct work everywhere and, and, and it's jogging left and it's going right the elevations keep changing completely understandable here's the thing if you change a job just to need a co I'm sorry a, like a column two or a column three that is going to apply it to every single object I'm sorry an item that you have in your extension does not make any sense you just blew yourself out of the water you are not gonna get that job this is the correct way of doing it if you went on a walkthrough and, and they you did see that it is gonna ha be very difficult to run everything in a ceiling because of the duct work I would say do it this way you should you would cover yourself there is a item here called labor factor and this is why this is here we know that this piece of conduit is going to take a lot longer than what we have in our labor units currently right now so many ways you can do this 
you can increase this by 125 percent you can put there's going to be an extra 25 percent for the raceways your fittings boxes but ah uh, maybe not wire why would your wire be so much harder to pull i you know I, I disagree with that i would say your conduit your boxes and your fittings would be much much harder your wire might not be have an impact unless you're gonna have to spot a box every maybe 20 feet versus every 100 feet so you don't have these nice clean straight runs you can pull from yeah i, I would probably say you might want to up that a little bit but in this case what we saw no two ways um, i'm sorry uh many ways you can do this you can create your own you can take any one of these spares you can keep adding new ones whatever you want to do so let's say we have a particular hallway and that hallway has a, you know a 48 inch duct that's like 36 inches high it's, it's taken up almost a whole corridor so we're just going to see the uh, hvac hvac duct And we'll just leave it HVAC duct. Oops, I put half. Okay. So it's going to default everything at 100. So we're going to say our raceways, it's going to take, you know, 30% longer. I'm sorry, 130. So we're adding 30% on top of what it normally is. Your fittings, uh, maybe not so much, but your boxes yeah we're you know it might be a little bit more difficult so you might want to throw 10 percent on there and if you think your wire is going to take a little bit longer because you got to add more and more boxes in between them because you're changing elevations or you're jig uh, you're zigzagging around duct work you know say so yeah you're going to have to pull multiple times uh, from different locations so we'll add like another 10 percent on that too Uh, so what you want to do is you want to grab this change breakdown and you want to assign it to the HVAC duct and before I do it I'm going to drag this over so you can see how it changes so you see it went from 169 I believe to 199 hours now so what we did was we impacted this assembly only and we did not put it for every for every single one we walls of the walls were not being affected by any kind of overhead duct work um what what people got to understand is you do a column two or your column three and you're doing it to the whole entire job do not expect to win a lot of jobs that's not the way to bid things that's my personal opinion but just by bidding so many jobs and, and experience versus other companies I bid against, you are probably not going to win in a, in a competitive uh, bid against other electrical contractors. Um, if you do happen to just do, and, and just so you understand how much hours can jump, so I can, I'm, I'm just going to change this back to um, standard. It brings it back down to 168 hours. So right now I'm at Nika column one. And, and let's say this job was a column two. And, and for demonstration purposes, um, I'm going to jump it to uh, Nika column two. And we'll just say we are in column two just demonstrating. So right now we have 3,638 hours because we know that's going to impact the whole entire job. Let's go to edit, I'm sorry, extension, labor column, and we are going to do a column two. And I want you to see how much hours this jumps. And you're going to want to re-extend everything. You say yes. So I believe we're at 3,300 hours. Now we're at 4,400 hours. And let me double check that really quick. Go back. 3,638 hours. Let me just do the math. 3,638 hours. And then I'm going to switch this back to labor. Nika column 2. 
minus 4,426 hours. You just added 788 hours to your job. An unnecessary uh, impacting of everything. You know, you're, you're, let's just take a look at what we're seeing. We have light fixtures, it's panels. There's all types of items on here. I mean, your, your plates. I mean, there's things you impacted everywhere that did not need to be impacted. Trying to help you guys out. This is this is the way to do it. If if you're into your bid and, and you care about winning job and, and you want to make money and, and succeed in this business, you got to impact the correct things. Do not impact the whole job. Um, you're always going to be wondering why you're you're only winning two percent of your work, where you, you should, on average, win like ten to twelve percent of all your bids. So yeah, I stress this enough. This is a way to go. There's different ways to labor factor things, but labor factoring just impact the stuff that you believe that it's going to take a little bit more time to do, and. You know, o o over time, track what you're doing so you can see that on the next one, and this is great when you're doing live count because you can open up a drawing and automatically it'll open up and you can look at the whole floor plan. And then you op you jump back to the new one and it'll s look at the floor plan. And, and you know if you take notes on your previous jobs that you were like, you know, seven of eight you were nowhere near the low bid well now you could go back and be like all right well if i jump this if i bring this down to just you know cob my, my most competitive bidding and i impact just a few items that i know that are going to be more difficult to install see how you compare because i would i would most definitely take that new method methodology that you learn and apply it to the next job and you will become more competitive and there are people who've been doing this for 20 or 30 years so you got to keep that in mind you are bidding against people who know this program very well they know what it takes to put it in and if you are a good estimator and a project manager you're gonna follow up on jobs that did well and you're gonna see if they beat the hours or you got killed on hours and then you're gonna take what you learn and apply it to the next job once again Alfred Flores CEO president New Age Electric leave a comment and hey if you disagree I love to hear about it thank you for watching